Eric is a physical therapist, is that correct? Yeah. So I'm super excited to get his feedback because my knee has been really bugging me this year and I'm not sure what the issue is, um, but we're gonna find out today and we're gonna make some changes to see if we can fix that problem. Hey, race fan, Brian Davis races, and you can too. Today, we are going to Title Town Sports Medicine in the shadow of Lambeau Field, where some of the highest paid, most talented athletes in the world get tested, and I am no exception. Eric reached out to me recently because I was complaining about some knee pain on my social media accounts, and he said, hey, why don't you come on up? We'll do a bike fit and see if we can get this knee thing figured out. I said, okay, that sounds great. So I went to go see Eric. We got on the bike. We experimented with some fits, but ultimately, we really didn't change much on the bike because we figured the bike was not really the source of the problem. So we moved a few minor tweaks on the saddle, but that was about it. Otherwise, we did a number of assessments to figure out where my limitations are in terms of flexibility and uh, overcompensating strength, and we just discovered that I have some issues. And these issues stem from the strength training program that I started last year. This is a, I did a whole video on this, but this is a snip of what I've been doing. A lot of knee heavy exercises, and then of course some push-ups and core work as well. But the knee heavy exercises ramped up, and I think that's where this knee pain originated from when I got back into doing strength this uh, winter. Uh, it seems like it really flared up. And I can manage it with ibuprofen, so it's not the end of the world, but it's enough to make me a little bit concerned. And our overall strategy was, what's broken with my strength training program? It has everything to do with my form being poor. So more assessments from Eric and more determining where that form breakdown is occurring. And you can see in this clip right here, when I do these knee step-up items uh, or step-up activities, watch this, uh, see my knee shoots out to the left a little bit. And it's just enough to cause perhaps some imbalance, and then we discovered that my left leg is quite a bit stronger than my right leg. So we came up, Eric came up with some exercises to try to balance those things out and improve my uh, structure around the quads because the core issue that we discovered was the quads are super, super tight. So what can we do to move some of that strength training load to hamstrings uh, or other parts of the body to balance out the load on the quads because the quads are probably stronger than everything else and it's causing some overcompensation. So uh, we made some adjustments to the form and how I approach the exercises and more importantly introduced some new exercises so I can get a little bit further away from the quad and focus a little bit more on other parts of the chain to create more strength to give more balance. And you'll see this a lot with knee injuries in cyclists. As you ramp up your hours on the bike, your knee has a lot more potential to hurt because your strength is improving which is allowing you to ride longer, which allows your knee to get more out of track creating these knee issues. I did a whole nother video on eliminating knee pain, but this was a different beast. And so this was a big part of what we did is some uh, hip flexor strength or hip flexor loosening and quads, tight quads, I think are really the root of the issue. So we've been putting, or I've been putting a lot of work with Eric's uh, expertise to balance those things out. So let's hear what Eric had to say. Eric, I really appreciate you bringing me in and working with me to get my knee figured out. We figured out some things. Eric, what, what's the big takeaways here that I learned? His right leg's a little weak, so on assessment, a lot of movement there. Then when we looked at the spin scan, we did see when he wasn't paying attention that the left leg was doing a lot more work. So I kind of hypothesized a little bit as he gets fatigued, the left leg starts to do more work. Um, he's really tight in his quads and hips, and his saddle was all tilted forward. So wondering if he's falling forward a little bit. His position was also a little forced. We brought him back a little bit. That's his normal racing position. So maybe once the irritation calms down, he can bring it back forward. So then I just gave him some good homework, some good stretches and various strength exercises to get different muscles going and kind of help get him back on track. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited to do it. And uh, like I mentioned, Eric, I was debating on getting rid of strength and and I have found the strength stuff really helps with injury prevention so I really don't want to get now that I'm into doing it and it's been years of fighting it but now that I'm into doing it I don't want to give it up and uh, Eric found some really smart ways for me to work within that framework to do some things that don't irritate the knee but still build up the strength and strengthen areas that are not dominating already like the quad like you said so if you're looking for Eric this is where to find him at the title town sports medicine facility we are in the shadow of Lambeau Field, right there. And uh, I'll have his description, links, all that information down below in the uh, description of the video. So check out Eric if you're looking for a top quality bike fit. And again, I think the big difference here is between a 
a local shop doing a bike fit versus Eric doing a bike fit is that that expertise in physical therapy and how the body reacts to the fit goes a long way. And you can tell that because we didn't actually do a ton of work on the bike. It was mostly fixing the strength routine stuff that I was doing with poor form and hopefully that'll resolve the issue. So, all right, I'm excited. <laughs>